I think if everybody practice good mother syndrome, like what you do at home, of course at home you have sorry, good mother syndrome. Syndrome, you know, like a mother <laughs> at home, you know, food. Ah, uh, your your kids don't come back by certain time. You will freeze it or chill it. Next yeah. year you reheat. We we survive with with nothing, you know. Yeah, true. So it can be done in that sense. Hi, my name is Paul Kam. Welcome to Chalkboard Video. Today, with me here today, is a very interesting man uh, who has a fantastic mission, Rick Chi. Hi, Rick. Hi. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. I was very captivated with your uh, motto or mission that I read somewhere, connecting the world, the world of, of waste, waste to the world of want. To the world of want. Yeah. That's very interesting. Can you tell us more about that? Well, I, I, I came from a poor family. 11 brothers, 3 sisters. Uh, my dad is a lorry driver, so you can imagine. Yes, yes. Um, we don't waste food because uh, it's so little, you know, among your siblings. In fact, you, you just see how to finish. Even whatever left over will be finished you know, after 3 hours, you know. We never really get to feel, you know. I mean, with, uh, with quite a blessed uh, career I have uh, having spent during that time almost 27 years in the industry also I see so much food waste from the hotel restaurant and find relating to where my background uh, is is sad it's sad in that sense uh, so so uh, with a blessed career I think it's not just doing business doing business beyond profit and and the sustainability so that uh, uh, you understand the whole value of, of your life, you know, more complete in that sense. You know. Food waste is a tragedy globally, yeah. you know. The problem is bigger than just that food waste alone. Mm. The environmental issue, we are chopping forests to grow more, the habitats yeah. and so on. Uh, the, 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 the water that we extract out for irrigation yeah. and and food waste emits methane gas which is 20 over time more potent than carbon dioxide and it causes global warming yeah. and global warming is not just the warming it's change of weather and change yeah. of weather is not just change of weather change of weather bring disaster yeah. I mean environmentally we should not be so selfish not to think about our future generation yeah. you know by you know wasting the food clearing the land and you know causing this environmental change and then economically i think it's pure stupidity for us to waste so much resources mm -hmm. when there's so many people in it and i think morally it's wrong to throw away food when there's still so many people in need you know yeah. so looking at the whole thing even in an urban area the urban poor you know those people are fat and so on, you know, they can't go through, you know. They may have a shelter above it, but life is tough there. So my point is trying to connect so much of food waste. We wasted the something like 1.3 billion tons of food annually. We produce food annually. oil annually, globally, you know. Okay. And there's so many people in need of such food. And, and just a quarter of this saving could have end global hunger. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a shocking figure for me. So I thought in Malaysia, uh, we have so many un underprivileged, the charitable homes, the refugees, the orang asli, even the urban poor. Yeah. So many people trying to, you know, make life, you know, to improve uh -huh. their life. And I thought this is the best way to do it. How many people do you feed now and which locations? We are covering, uh, in fact, in Klang Valley alone, those registered welfare or charitable home is 200 over. And surprisingly, those unregistered, I would put the figure another 100 to 200, you know. So it's a massive problem out there. And then we have today cover 40 over homes on a regular basis and reach out to 120 over when we have suddenly small surplus, we will identify the balance to get to know them 
you know, to also know their background, their homes, their statistics, their data, so that we are giving to the right people. Our main cost is the logistic cost and getting to know them, knowing that they have their vehicle to send their kids to school. After getting to know them, we sort of uh, get them to come to our place to pick up their ration. And this on a daily basis? Daily basis, because all this produce are uh, already quite sensitive. The, 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 the expiration date is getting closer. Uh, we collect grits on a daily basis, left two days, three days old. Bread. Yes, okay. from Tesco, from the bakery, and we send to this home on the same day. Uh, our drivers are trained to love their job. They are not just drivers. We want them to engage and communicate with the homes, even teach them how to identify rotten food, canned food, those kind of things. So the date is very critical. We have to work uh, even on public holidays. So we have uh, extra driver to rotate. Lah. The uh, issue of landing the food in the wrong hand, people may resell it. Oh. You know, or let's say instant noodle, you can have sold it to the mama and then take <laughs> out the wrapper. All this is, is, is critical. For we, we started, like I say, with this trust deficit uh, uh, because in my country, Malaysia here, we do not have a dedicated Good Samaritan law. And people are concerned, you know, if something happened to the food, you know, who will be liable? That was the biggest obstacle. What are your plans moving forward? We also got ourselves connected with the new government here who have invited us to speak about and sharing uh, on our food bank. Their intention is to learn from this model and to duplicate in every state. In every state. Wow. So on our side, we have, we have signed an agreement to start in Kota Baru, uh, a base. In Penang, we are collaborating with the state government who, have, who will be making, uh, providing the space as well at the, as the operation cost to kickstart in Penang. We are quite blessed. Uh, Besides what we are doing you know, on the ground, we have a big company like Sun Dabi who have sponsored us uh, on the apps. We will be launching our apps very soon, which is called Robin Food. Robin Food? Yes. That is where we want people the donors to register as a donor mm -hmm. and recipient will register and everything done in terms of the documentation driver already registered so that you can go to those places to pick up the food wow. when it's surplus and hopefully we can connect more people where we can reach them in yeah. different states and yeah. so on. So, so these are some of the things from the spin-off of what we do using modern technology mm -hmm. to connect the world of Amazing. waste to the world of one.